welcome to The Well-Educated Artist. I'm Miranda, and today we are not gonna be doing dishes, but we are going to be using sink drainers. There are so many sink drainers that you can get for your poor art, literally bags of those on the internet that you can experiment with. So today, I'm picking a sink drainer, and we're gonna see how it goes. Let's get started. Okay, we have our setup. First, we have our colors. We have gold. Then we have titanium white. Sapphire blue. This is turquoise. And then we have a lighter color in the turquoise spectrum, which is called viridian. And then last but not least, we have primary yellow. And I've put these out because they all do have a couple of drops of silicone in them. I don't need a lot of paint. We're working on a very small surface, but there is silicone in every one of my colors. I'd like to see some feathering with this and we'll see if that works out. Before I begin, and I need my, my, um, my washer here. This is a hose washer and I'm actually going to use it to elevate my drainer off of my wooden medallion. And these wooden medallions are really inexpensive to buy and they're in the craft areas of most stores. And you can just put your washer down and that's gonna lift it a little bit so that the paint flows a little easier, like so. And that's, we'll see how this works. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and put down some white. And I know this washer's gonna get dirty, but I think that's the nature of painting like this with acrylic paints. It's gonna get a little messy. It's not fun if it's not messy. It's all good. And so we're gonna put a little white. Go ahead and put some down. A little, a lot. It's all good. Now, I'm just gonna put my washer down in the white. You can get tweezers to pick it up with if you don't want to put your hands in the paint. And I'm just gonna put that down. Interesting. You can see it kind of squeeze up through there. I would just like to see something interesting in the center of this. And pulling that up is going to hopefully add some interest into the center. Now we have a couple of options. We can either pour this paint into our handy dandy cup, or we can pour in a little bit at a time. I am actually believe I'm going to pour a little bit at a time this time because I don't want my colors modeled as much. I'd like to see some spread but not keep it marbly. Let's see, let's just see what happens. So I'm actually gonna start with a little bit of gold and I didn't put a lot of gold in here because we don't need a lot of gold. Okay. I need to make sure we're even, and I probably should have done this before we started with my handy dandy level and just make sure because my desk likes to tilt a little bit and I think we're a little off. And then if we're a little off, then oh, we're not bad. Just a little bit. I just want to make sure that we're pretty level. And if we're not, I'm gonna put a paper towel underneath to level us out a little more. There we go, it looks a little better. Okay, so our gold is settling and I'm actually gonna turn that since we weren't totally level. And now go for my next color. I am going for blue. I'm not actually going in order. But that's okay. You don't have to go in order. And I'm just going to alternate. I'm actually going to go ahead and put a little bit of yellow. And I'm going to continue to turn this so that I don't spend too much time on one side or the other if I want it to be even. Notice I didn't get as much blue as I would like to get in there. I am now going to add a little bit more white. And 
and I'm going to continue to turn. Put a little more white over here. And then I'm going to add my turquoise. This turquoise is a little thin because this is a pre-mixed paint, but I love the color of this one. It just usually works out really well. So I'm gonna to choose to do it. I'm gonna to continue to turn. And I'm also going to add a little white paint on the outside because, whoops, I better be careful not to turn it. Probably should have put this, because it's round, we could have put this on a spinner. We'll do it the old fashioned way. Okay, okay now I'm gonna choose to use I think I'm going to go ahead and put my Viridian. And now, just a little more white. This is my silicone white. The outside did not have silicone in it. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a little more gold. It's kind of gloppy. Metallics tend to be gloppier even if you add medium to them. They have a different consistency. Kind of pretty though. And Really seeing a lot of the sapphire blue. Sapphire blue is such a strong color. Now I'm going to add more blue. You could use Prussian blue if you don't have sapphire blue. Prussian blue though may read as a very dark blackish color depending on what colors you use with it while yellow tends to hide a little bit of yellow trying to keep it even and a little white right there in the middle I'm going to turn it my turquoise did not show up on that side. But I have more paint on that side. So you never quite know what kind of surprise you are going to get. And I like that, um, that the turquoise color looked really good. And I think I'm going to add a little more where I didn't tend to have any, which was on this side. It looks really great with that Viridian color and I'm probably about where I could stop. Okay, didn't have a paper towel laid out. We should have enough. So I am going Got any more white left? I'm gonna put some, just a little dribble around the middle. Okay, and I'm going to lift very carefully. I try to get as much as I can. And just in case, put a little extra white around the edge. It's hard to get around without hitting this thing, this uh, drainer. We don't want to hit the drainer. Okay. You're ready with your paper towel. And okay. Hmm. 
Now here's the tricky part. It's really cool in the middle, but if you remember, we left this. And don't drop it. Oh, that's cool. Okay. On one side, it's wanting to go over. We're going to torch. Not seeing a lot of cells, even though the silicone oil was put in there. Not a lot of cells. like to see more out of the center but I just don't think this is helping we're going to need a little bit of sparkle. Okay, and there you have it. So many sink drainers, so little time. There are so many sink drainers out there that you can try your hand out with poor painting. So grab a sink drainer and have some fun this week. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Bye.